down and have a look at her whales. Well, Mr. Spock, have you accounted for the variable mass of whales and water in your time reentry program? Mr. Scott cannot give me exact figures, Admiral, so I will make a guess. A guess? You, Spock? That's extraordinary. I don't think he understands. No, Spock. He means that he feels safer about your guesses than most other people's facts. Then you're saying it is a compliment? It is. Oh. Then I will try to make the best guess I can. They say the sea is cold, but the sea contains the hottest blood of all. Whales weep not. D.H. Lawrence. You know, it's ironic when man was killing these creatures. He was destroying his own future. The beasties seem happy to see you, Doctor. I hope you like our little aquarium. A miracle, Mr. Scott. A miracle? That's yet to come. What does that mean? It means that our chances of getting home are not too good. You might have lived a longer life if you'd stayed where you belong. I belong here. I am a whale biologist. Suppose by some miracle you do get them through. Who in the 23rd century knows anything about humpback whales? Good point. Yeah. Admiral, I think you better get up there. We're having a power fall off. Just stay. Sorry. On my way. Hold on tight, Lassie. It gets bumpy from here. Admiral, I cannot even guarantee you would escape the sun's gravity. I shall attempt to compensate by altering our trajectory. Book eight. Eight point one. That's the sir. Admiral, I need muscular control. Acceleration thrusters at Spock's command. Ready. thrusters fire? They did, Admiral. Then where the hell are we? The probe. Condition report, Spock. No data, Admiral. Computers are non-functional. The mains are down, sir. Box power is not responding. Manual control, Mr. Sumo. I have no control, sir. My God, Jim, where are we? Out of control and blind as a bat. Get him back! Get him back! Yes. Yeah. 